Hi, I'm Dr. Becky Peebles. I'm a primary care sports medicine doctor with UT Health East Texas. This week on the running series, we're gonna be talking about stretching and foam rolling. I have Dr. Mike Galbraith with me here to demonstrate some of these exercises. The first stretch we're gonna do is gonna stretch the front of the leg, the quad muscle. I like dynamic stretches for runners because a lot of times you're really tight and these are easy to do even if you haven't been stretching. So go ahead and face me. I'm gonna have Dr. G grab his foot behind him and the concept for this one, you wanna tuck your pelvis and then you wanna push your knee backwards to get a deeper stretch. So you make this a dynamic stretch by holding the stretch for about two to three seconds and then switching to the other leg. And you can kind of walk with this motion. The next stretch that we're gonna do, will focus on the back of the legs, the hamstrings down through the calves and into the heels. Go ahead and face me again and then go down into down dog position. This is a yoga pose. But if you're not used to stretching, it can be hard on the back of the legs or the calves. So one thing that you can do to make it a little bit easier is pedal your feet. So you're gonna gently bend your knee, push your other heel towards the floor until you feel a good stretch through the entire back of the leg. And then just go back and forth, right to left, right to left, and just focus on that stretch. Next, we're gonna work on stretching that dreaded IT band. A lot of runners will have tightness and pain through the outsides of their legs. The stretch will also get through the glutes a little bit. Lay on your back. You're gonna bring one leg over the other into a figure of four position. So crossing your legs over at the ankle over the knee, just above the knee, and then grab behind your thigh and gently pull your leg towards you to get a deeper stretch and hold that for 15, 20, 30 seconds, depending on how tight you are. And then you can switch legs and do the same thing on the other side. Another really good stretch for working through the back of the legs all the way from the low back down through the buttocks, hamstrings, calves, and everything is one where you're gonna be laying on the floor again. And then stretch both of your legs out and bring one leg up, grab behind your thigh. You're gonna straighten your leg until you feel a good stretch through the back of your leg. Hold for about two seconds, then relax, bend your knee, straighten your leg again. Hold for about two seconds, bend your knee. You wanna do this about 10 times, and then you'll repeat with your toe flexed. So you're gonna pull your toes to your nose, get a deeper stretch, hold, bend, do it again, hold for a couple seconds, bend your knee, with the goal of doing this 10 times as well. And then switch legs, do the same thing on the other side. Another really great way to work out tight muscles is to foam roll. Foam rollers come in all different shapes and styles. It doesn't really matter if you have a short travel size or the full length foam rollers, just get down and use it. So we'll show you a couple techniques to effectively use your foam roller at home. The nice thing about foam rolling is you can work on almost any part of your body. The first thing that we're gonna show you today is to stretch out your chest wall and really open up your shoulders. As we run, a lot of us tend to tense up and get tight, especially as we get tired. Lay on your back, put the foam roller up and down your spine and then open up your arms and just let gravity take over and let them hang to the sides. You can reposition your arms a couple times just to get a deeper stretch in different parts of your chest wall. You don't need to push your arms down, just let gravity pull them gently and feel that stretch. A few concepts as you get into foam rolling, especially as you do your legs, when you hit a sore spot, you don't wanna roll so aggressively that you're gonna be really sore the next day or later that day. You wanna just go over that spot, go back and forth a couple times, work out that area, and then move on to the next sore spot. Another thing that you wanna be mindful of is don't go over any major joints or any bony prominences. So we'll point these out as we go through the next couple exercises. Next, we're gonna work on the glutes. You're gonna sit on the mat, put the foam roller under your glutes, Go back into that figure four position that we did before. So you're crossing your foot right at the ankle just above your other knee. And then you're gonna lean onto the glute that you're rolling. And you're just gonna gently go back and forth looking for those tight, maybe sore areas. From this position, put both hands on the mat behind you and you're gonna roll, avoid going over that sit bone. You're gonna come Put the roller just under that bone and roll out your hamstring, going all the way down to the knee, but not through the knee joint, and back and forth again, looking for sore spots, tight spots. If you find one, you can stop and just small motions back and forth. If you do both legs at the same time, you'll get 
a little bit deeper. Not everybody can tolerate that, just depending on how sore and tight you are. From there, keep going, avoid the knee joint, and come down to your calf muscle. Going back and forth, you can come all the way down to the top of the Achilles tendon, but again, don't roll down through the ankle joint. Now, once you're done with your calf, you can roll over onto your side, prop yourself up with your elbow, put the foam roller just under the outside of the hip, so feel for that bony prominence on the outside of the hip. You wanna go just below that, and then roll up and down your IT band. Many runners find that this is a little bit more uncomfortable. The more consistently you foam roll, the less uncomfortable it becomes unless you have a really hard workout. From there, you can roll onto your stomach, coming just below the hip joint, roll out your quads. Up and down, you have a couple different quad muscles, so you can find those different muscles rolling either to the inside of your thigh, the outside of your thigh, and then you can even angle your foam roller a little bit and come onto those adductor muscles really on the inside of your thigh. Thanks for joining us this week in the running series. I hope those tools help you stay a little bit looser. So this week, the word of the week is flexibility. I want you to think about where you are in your training plan. Be flexible, listen to your body. You do wanna follow the plan, but life happens. If you're feeling tired, make sure you're getting those extra rest days. Be flexible with yourself mentally too. This is a whole mental journey as much as it is a physical journey. Happy training and we'll see you next week on the running series.